So in this video, uh, we will find out uh, the equivalent distance uh, between vacuum and medium of dielectric constant epsilon r. So this is the idea. Uh, suppose uh, this is vacuum over here on this side. On this side, that's a medium of dial. This is a medium of dielectric constant epsilon r. So we know from Coulomb's law that permittivity of medium to permittivity of vacuum is equal to relative permittivity. Relative permittivity is a dimensionless constant. It does not have unit. Suppose you have two charges Q1 and Q2 as usual and they are separated by a distance so that they experience force F. Because this is a distance in vacuum, so I consider this as D vacuum. Vacuum is a subscript. So to, to identify that F is equal to 1 by 4 pi. Here these two charges are kept in vacuum. That is why it is epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R square. Here D square. So what distance these two charges have to be kept in medium so that they will still be experiencing the same force. So first we are keeping Q1 and we are moving around Q2 at some distance Q2 from Q1 that distance let me call it D medium they begin to experience the same force as they experienced in vacuum. So now since they experience the same force here also F here also the same F. But the point is these two charges are now in a medium of dielectric constant epsilon r. So the permittivity of the medium is equal to epsilon r into epsilon naught. So I am writing 1 by 4 pi because this is medium I have to write epsilon but epsilon is epsilon naught into epsilon r epsilon naught into epsilon r into q1 q2 by d medium. So this distance dv is different dm is different so it is r square that means dm square here. Since their left hand sides are equal, their right hand sides are bound to be equal. So 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 by d vacuum square is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r into q1 q2 by d medium square q1 q2 q1 q2 4 pi 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r. So d vacuum square I am bringing this up I am bringing this over here epsilon r into d medium square. So this implies d vacuum taking square root on both sides I am getting root over epsilon r times d medium. Uh, we have just found out equivalent distance in vacuum dv is equal to root over epsilon r into dm or distance in medium is equal to distance in vacuum by root over epsilon r. Where and how it is applied? Suppose I am having a charge q1 which is separated by a, from, by a dist some distance from q2. But what if I have some other dielectric constant or a medium of dielectric constant k comes in between. So here k is actually epsilon r. So epsilon r comes in between. Suppose if its thickness is t and the distance between the two charges is actually let us say r. What is actually the force between these two? So we know Coulomb's law you can write f is equal to either 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught in the case of vacuum or epsilon in the case of medium. But here it is a mix of both vacuum and medium. So how much is the total distance between the charges is r. The thickness of the vacuum is t. What is the vacuum distance alone? Total r out of t if you remove. So the vacuum distance is, so distance vacuum is equal to r minus t. So the distance medium is t. So either you can write the total force in terms of totally vacuum or in terms of totally medium. Say I will write the force in vacuum is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 by the distance. The distance of the vacuum here is r minus t but there is a dielectric of thickness t. 
If distance in medium is t, what is the equivalent distance in vacuum? If the distance in medium is dm, equivalent distance in vacuum is root over epsilon r times distance in medium. So here, if it is t, then equivalent vacuum distance or you just have to remove this and introduce a vacuum of what? t times root over epsilon r. So it is root over epsilon r times t, this whole square. This is how you have to calculate or if you want to write it wholly in terms of medium. So it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q1 q2 by you have to write only pure medium distance. So the medium distance is t plus the vacuum distance is r minus t. But if the vacuum distance is r minus t equal and medium distance will be r minus t by root over epsilon r. So r minus t by root over epsilon r the whole square and it's a practice for you you try these two equations will turn out to be the same